maybe she won't anymore. She has learned if she sits up and scoots forward or pushes the thing forward, it scoots the whole thing. So she moved from here all the way over here. <laughs> Cause she just gets up and she scoots it forward. But every time I get the camera out, she doesn't do anything. <laughs> I'll try to time lapse it, see if she'll do it that way. Today I've been slacking on cleaning and I need to get to it. Ellie just went asleep and I think I'm gonna do this little power hour thing. I've never really done that because I just thought it was stupid to try to clean for an hour, but I'm going to try to clean for an hour. I plan on hopefully getting these dishes done and sweeping and mopping the floor and kind of just putting all this together to make it look nicer. I'm not gonna do any deep cleaning. That is the last thing I wanna do right now. I just wanna get majority stuff cleaned just because there's dog hair all over the floor and dishes are cluttering in the dishwasher and I want them to be ready before dinner time. So that's what we're gonna try to do is try to do this whole power hour clean. I've never done that because I just thought it was stupid. I just feel like if you're going to clean, you need to just clean and get it done and over with. But we're just gonna do a power hour and see how much we can get done. So we're gonna start with the dishes. All right, usually I hate doing voiceovers and explaining what I'm doing when you can see exactly what I'm doing, but I do have a few things that I like to do that helps me throughout my cleaning process. One is cleaning the countertops and just separating trash and appliances and stuff from the dishes. I like to see how many dishes I have. I like to line those up on the counter and I like to have my dishes close to me. If you're like me, you kind of get too into doing the dishes and you get carried away and once you think you're done, you look over and there's a pot or pan right over on the oven. So I like to just bring the dishes closer to me. Wish that there could be somebody else that I could pay to do my dishes. And yes, I have a dishwasher. It could be worse. I could be hand washing all these dishes. I've done it before and a million times before that. but. I still hate doing them. One, it makes my hands break out because I am allergic to Dawn dish soap, but I highly believe that Dawn dish soap is the best. So I just kind of suck it up and do the best that I can. And after I get done doing the dishes, which right now I am, or am I still washing something? I don't know. But I also make sure that I scrub the sink real good because it can get really, you know, bad in there, especially when they're white. And I think it's ceramic or something. Like it's just a white sink and it gets super dirty. So if you leave anything in there, it can get stained and we don't like that. But I was washing out the crock pot that I was using to make chicken. I made like some kind of creamy chicken thing and it was so good and I put it over rice. It was the best recipe if you're interested, just comment down below. Anyways, um, I do hand wash all of our metal cups. I take our bottle brush and scrub it out. And after I put that to the side, I don't know what else I'm cleaning, but anyways, I end up washing or scrubbing the countertops. Sometimes I'll get either a little bit of bleach and soap with some water and take my little scrub brush and scrub the countertops or I'll take some bleach spray and spray the top and wipe it down. Either way, it just depends on what I have in a spray bottle or if I have something else in the spray bottle. Sometimes I'll have like fabric softener and water in a spray bottle for my couches. So then I scrub it with a scrub brush and with some bleach and soap. 
that way I don't, you know, have to change out the spray bottle or waste any products. But here is my number one thing. So as you can see, I am working backwards. I don't know why I did this this way. I always work top to bottom, whether I'm dusting, cleaning, wiping anything down. I'm always working top to bottom. I showed all the dog hair that was packed up in there and I ended up having to throw, throw it away, but there's like so much dog hair. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I worked from the floor and then I guess I thought somehow I needed to get all that stuff out of my way and vacuum all the dog hair off the floor first for some weird reason. But what I should have done is empty the couches and vacuum the couch and then vacuum the floors. But it's whatever. Now I'm putting everything back on the floor. It's all messy right now, but I I don't know how to ever explain how I how my process is. Sometimes it's just chaotic and sometimes it's just whatever. But some of that stuff was on the couch and I just moved it off on the side so I could get this couch vacuumed up. And I think I ended up vacuuming the floor again. Just, I can't ask about my process. I just, today was just a sporadic cleaning. I think the whole hour thing just had my mind all kinds of twisted. So I couldn't really think straight because I was more feeling rushed to clean and that's exactly why I hate doing these power hours because I don't feel like you should rush to clean. To me it's very therapeutic. It's the only thing that I do all day or it's something that I do once or twice a week that I can just escape and just focus on cleaning and doing the whole power hour thing I just could not think straight and I was just getting more anxious than anything trying to clean the house. And I think I even went over an hour, so that didn't work out either. So yeah, none of that really worked, but I ended up vacuuming the whole house. And this is just like me doing a little montage of vacuuming the house. Um, this little vacuum, it is a carpet and hardwood cleaner. And I love it. I don't know what else to say about it. I really want to get the Bissell Crosswave, or not even that. Josh's mom has like an off-brand Bissell Crosswave. It's a mop and vacuum duo, just like the Bissell. But hers is cordless, and I love it. It's like the eye something, and it's amazing. And I want to get that so bad. You can vacuum and mop at the same time. Like, who doesn't love that? Like, I could do this whole same process, but do... Two bird, kill two birds with one stone and just be done and I do love this vacuum even though it's not one of those fancy little cross whatever deals but this one works for now and I use it on everything it's easy to get behind everything it's easy to wipe down the couches with I love vacuuming couches with that vacuum because I just put it on the carpet mode which it just turns the brush at the bottom and it sweeps up all the dog hair into the vacuum. This is just me going through the hallway. I like to get on the left I have this like vent thing and that's where the air filter is and all that and I get that really good and that way it's just no dander or anything that's into the air filter and actually keeps it cleaner that way if you just keep all the dust away from it. This is our room. I get on both sides really good especially underneath my uh, what is it called TV tray and stuff. I don't have a side or end table just yet but I hope to get one very soon we're just still trying to get used to living in a house for right now but yeah but I also get my bathroom really good and I just get all the dog hair because all the dogs stay in this area the most so once I get done doing that, I start on this little mop thing. It's like a little buffer. It just goes back and forth really rapidly and it scrubs down the house super good and I love it. And I even got a little hack for this. The thing that goes in this mop deal, I just unscrew it and I put whatever I want in it and I pop it back in and it cleans just perfect. 
I like to get, put the pine out in. I put like an aroma thing in it and I only get this pine allen stuff at the Dollar General and it smells so good it's the best but I just do my whole entire kitchen living room hallway with this stuff and it just smells so good I love it to death see in a little second I have to fill up that little solution and it saves a ton of money so you're not constantly having to buy refills of this stuff and just like the Swiffer the Swiffer has designed their solution that if you use it it leaks out so you can't reuse the bottle or something because I've tried to do it with my Swiffer and Josh's mom gave me this after my pregnancy after she got her um, mop and vacuum duo thing and yeah, I love this so much because I can reuse it all the time and it never runs out and I can switch up the solution. Okay, it was more like an hour and 30 minutes, but the house is clean and I'm not complaining. So, I got what I wanted done. I did the dishes. I actually did a little bit more. I cleaned the counters too. And then I vacuumed the couch, which I let it get way too much dog hair. Kimber! And then vacuumed the rugs, which also was like a lot of dog hair. So I made sure I like did it really good. And then now I'm just gonna go through this real quick. Some of it stays in here cause Ellie plays with it. Some of it stays in here cause I take a nap. But most of this is dog stuff and I'm just gonna put that in the sunroom. But I'm gonna kinda pick everything up, all the cleaning supplies, put all the towels up that I cleaned with and just relax for the rest of the day. So I'm pretty sure I, got a lot of stuff done it doesn't feel like it but it looks like it just doing that little bit looks like i spent all day cleaning the house but yeah i still got like stuff over here that needs to be like put up and everything i just got a lot of ellie stuff around the house and a lot of blankets and pillows because sometimes i just get so tired and i just have to sleep and you know sleep in when i can especially when she naps but I use this nap time to clean but now I'm going to use the rest of the time to uh, crochet because I'm almost done with the sweater. Ellie is up. I kind of woke her. No, did I wake her up a nap for a few minutes early? No, I woke her up a few minutes after the thing went but oh look how clean this house looks now everything except for the toys we need like a little toy specified thing for in this room especially like for maybe this space back here because it's kind of empty right there and i think if we had some kind of toy chest or some kind of like wooden chest that has toys that looks nice with the living room to go back there or something but of course we have the pillow and blanket because sometimes when if she ends up falling asleep i'll fall asleep on the couch too and um or sometimes I'll leave her out here for nap time and I'll nap with her. But yeah, and we have her boppy because she's been sitting upright in it and she's been doing a good job sitting. Yes, you have your big girl. Only five months and we're learning how to sit already. Which she's always been like an early, you know, bird. Tell me, what does this stick, where it's like a L-shaped stick, There's like some little platform, like wooden platform, which I thought was like a trophy plaque, and then glass. And then in here, what is it? In here, it's clear weld. Tell me what the does he have planned? It just don't make sense. I'm thinking, I told him it was a shelf, and he said no. So, we'll just see, and I'll let y'all know what it, what it is. I'm probably going to do a time lapse of him messing with it. He said I'll know as soon as I mess, or as soon as he messes with it. And I was like, okay. And I'm kind of thinking it was like a shelf like this. Something that goes in the corner or something. I don't know. There's no telling with my husband. I'm just going to let him do whatever, and trust that it's something that I would want in the house but 
Kimber. <laughs> He's, they're outside right now. Josh always plays with the dogs when he comes home. And of course the baby is crying. Yeah, this is, this is what happens when he comes back home from work. You better quit because y'all can eat. She looks like she punched you in the face. Okay, so apparently it's a trophy case. Or wait, trophy case, right? For your coworker? What's he gonna put in it? Hmm? What's he gonna put in it? Wait! This is the plaque. No, it's not. That's to cover the holes. Oh, well, that's the stuff that Miss Bonnie uses she to. A different stuff, but she's got different things. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's a trophy case. Nothing for the house. So, but. I might, I guess I'll show it to you when Josh gets it together, if I even get to see that. But, yep. We're doing it this weekend. What you mean? You're fat. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> he looked over and went, Ugh. And then there are dump all big things go for quick. Laying down him. And we call him the fat ass. Shit. Go away. You had your loving. 